Hi, Shaughnessy North, President and CEO of Excel Realty and Mortgage. So, congratulations, you've obviously gone on to the next step of things. So, your loan officer looked over the loan application, they pulled your credit, they looked at the documentation you provided, and they said you are qualified for a loan. So that's awesome. Now, what happens next? Well, you're gonna get a pre-approval letter or a pre-qualification letter. Now, each state has some different requirements and stuff, but for the most part, those are the two things. Now, a pre-qualification letter is basically your loan officer doing exactly what I just said they did. They looked over your application, they pulled your credit, they looked over the documentation you provided, and they said, hey, we know that this person qualifies. A pre-approval letter is a higher level of understanding really how much do you qualify for and if there's any problems along the way on the loan. The reason being is that the loan officer said, hey, let's put this loan into underwriting even if you haven't found a property yet. And basically all that means is that an underwriter took a look at the file and they've determined that you qualify for the loan and at whatever level you qualify for it. So it's basically a good idea to do that for a lot of loans out there. Here at Excel Mortgage Services, we do do this with a lot of our clients and it's because it gets you in the best position to be able to negotiate the best deal on the purchase. A lot of times, seller might have two offers coming in and if somebody has a pre-approval letter and the loan officer explains that to the, the realtor involved and they say, hey, this is much better than a pre-qualification because we already know that this person is qualified through underwriting. It's gonna give you a leg up on the deal. So that's my suggestion is to have that done 